Hello, thank you for joining me today. You're watching Esther from Stampin' Star Creations. Um, today I'm going to use the Lift Me Up bundle, which comes with a set of dies called Up and Away Thinlets. And we're going to use Pink Pirouette and Smoky Slate as our colours. I'm going to get one of our sponges and just apply a bit of ink on the sponge. I'm just going to rub off. A little bit before I start. Now I've just torn a piece of copy paper or a scrap piece of paper and this creates a lovely jagged edge to create our cloud look. Um, on this particular piece I've already cut out the letter that I want for to personalise a card and then we're just going to lay this down at angles and gently rub across where the torn paper is. And this creates a lovely cloudy looking effect. Now, as I said, you can go at angles, you can go at different different, um, yeah, different angles, that's all I've had to say. <laughs> and then just rubbing it on and then lifting up your mask. want it slightly varied because cloud formation isn't always the same. You might want to stick down your mask or you can do what I'm doing and just doing it freehand. Okay so that was nice and quick and easy and that's ready to go and then we're going to put a bit of glue behind the lettering and I've got a piece of our lovely silver glimmer paper here which I know just about fit on the back there. Oops, it's coming off. Stick that down, give it a chance to dry. Okay, and then just going to mat and layer it onto a piece of smoky slate cardstock. Now, I've already um, taken the time to cut out a few bits and pieces already, so I've pre-stamped these and used the thinlets to cut them out, so they're all ready to go on my card. So just to create a bit of dimension, I'm going to do this in layers. So I'm going to put the big balloon down first. I really like the combination of the pink and the, the grey, I think it works well. And then I'm going to pop up this balloon using our dimensionals. This is one of my go-to sets. It's a great set which looks lovely in different colour combinations and great for men and women's cards. And then I'm going to also pop up a little cloud. Next to that one, and just keep layering up your images. And I thought I had another balloon somewhere. Uh, I'm going to have to go and stamp one and cut one out. Okay, um, I'll keep going and then I'll come back to you for that last bit. I think having the, the glimmer letter just really adds that little touch of bling to the picture. Yeah, I definitely need another balloon. Okay, I'll come back. So in case you haven't seen this process before, <coughs> excuse me, I've gone and stamped the image onto some cardstock and then these thin lits just fit around the edges really neatly. And then you create your sandwich and you roll it through oops, the big shop machine. And then this, oops, everything is in the way. <laughs> Let me just move it. I like to show the process on my videos because some of you might not have seen how it works. And then this just cuts it out and you can pop that out ready to use on your card. 
Now, where were we? Let's stick down that last balloon. And we're going to do that as a flat balloon. I'm just going to pop up some clouds again. Sometimes I think the simple techniques are the best. You forget sometimes about techniques and it's quite nice to revisit them and remember how fab they are. Right, I'm just going to grab my piercing mat. It gives me a nice flat surface and I'm going to go in with smoky slate and I should have done this before. I stuck it down. Oh, there we go. Turning everything a bit backwards and... Oh! <laughs> Now, what do you do when you have an upside down image like that? We pretend it was meant to be like that and cover up your mistakes. Yeah, learn from that mistake and do check that you are stamping your sentiment the right way up. I've just got a scrap piece here that I'm going to stamp on. And we can turn it into a feature. I'm just going to quickly trim that down. So my short video is getting longer and longer. <laughs> there we are. Right. I'm just going to go in with my pink pirouette and sponge. Use that leftover ink on my sponge to sponge up that sentiment. And to make a feature of it I might even... yeah, let's put some dimensionals on that. Who would ever know, apart from all you lot that's watching? <laughs> These things happen. This is real life crafting. Try not to take out the bloopers, we leave them in. There, now to finish this I'm just going to use some of our lovely sparkly dots. Don't be scared to use them, I think sometimes it's so easy to hoard these pretty things and not actually get on and use them. There we go, lovely! <laughs> I'm all done! And there's our lovely grey and pink hot air balloon card ready to send out. Thanks ever so much for watching and for putting up with my bloopers. <laughs> Do subscribe to my channel for more videos and um, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And leave a comment, I'd love to hear what you, you think about my creations and if you have any questions. Thank you, take care, have a good day, bye.